Have you ever felt overwhelmed juggling a dozen AI tools at once? Maybe you start your day with ChatGPT to draft emails, switch over to Claude for summarizing articles, then jump into Gemini for research. Then you create the image using Flux and Kling for video. Before you know it, you're staring at a pile of monthly subscriptions. What if I tell you that you can access all of them under one platform with a single subscription? Yes, you can. Because Magi assembled all of them under one platform like the Avengers. In this video, I am going to explore it and share a real-life use case. So, let's dive in. So, imagine. You are a content creator and create explainer videos on science. You need to research the topic, write the script, create videos, write the descriptions, and make a thumbnail to publish the video. And you are using several AI tools to make your work easier. Basically, you are paying thousands of dollars. Now, let's talk about Magi, which gives you access to all the premium LLM models like GPT, Claude, Gemini, and more. Image generators like Flux, Nano Banana, Seedream, GPT Image, Leonardo, and more. Video generators like Hilu, Kling, Luma, Seedance, and even Veo. And all of these are only for $20 per month. Okay, let's start our journey with Magi. This is the Magi homepage. You will find the link in the description. Now, create an account. Once you are logged in, your interface will be like this. At the top, you will find two options. Start a new chat and generate an image. The chat option is for generating text-based content, and the image option is for generating images and videos. On the left side, you will find some more tools and features. Okay, now imagine we need to research a topic. So I am selecting the start a new chat option. This is the chatbot interface. Here in this box, we have to enter the query or prompt. Before that, let's select the best model. Here, at the top left corner, you will find all the LLM models. You can notice that all the powerful and popular models are available here. Now, you can select anyone from here. However, if you are not sure which model you have to select, then select the auto option. Magi will automatically select the model suitable for the task and generate the result. This time, I am selecting auto. Now, enter the prompt or query. For example, I am typing, conduct an in-depth research study on the topic industrial revolution. Structure the response like a well-organized academic research paper. After entering the prompt, you can enhance the prompt using AI. You will find some other features. I am coming to these later. Okay, after entering the prompt, hit the send button. Now, Magi will analyze the prompt and set the perfect model for the task, and then start writing the content. And here it is. The result is ready. It creates a short research paper on the given topic. I can say that it's a well-researched article. However, if you are not satisfied with the result, you can regenerate the article. As we know, Google Gemini is best at any kind of research. So this time I will select the Gemini 2.5 Pro model. After selecting the model, I am entering the same prompt and then hit the send button. You can see that Gemini 2.5 Pro is now thinking. Once done, it will start generating the content. And here it is, the content is ready. This is better than the previous one. Sometimes, specific model selection will provide the best result. So, try to select the best model. Okay, now imagine we want to write a script for our next video on the same topic. I am selecting the Claude Sonnet 4 to write the script. Before we enter the prompt, let's select a persona. You will find a bunch of options here to create different types of content. This will help you to create more customized results. I am selecting the education content persona. Now come to the prompt box and ask to write the script. For example, I am typing. I want to make a detailed documentary video on this topic. Can you write the video script for me? The overall length of the script should be around 2000 words. You can mention the word count as per your need. Once done, hit the send button. And here it is. The AI is thinking and then starts writing the script. And here it is. The script is ready. And honestly speaking, after reviewing the script, I found that this is really a good script. Well-researched and crafted. The previous research memory helped a lot to create this kind of well-researched script. So you can jump around various AI models in a single chat 
and use the response as the memory for the next task. This feature will help you to keep consistency across the content. All right, now you can turn this script into a voiceover clip and make the video. While making the video, if you need B-roll images or videos, you can create them here. To create images or videos, we need a detailed prompt. I will generate all the scene prompts using the DeepSeq R1 model. After selecting the model, I am typing. I want to create a video with this script using AI. So, I need scene-by-scene -scene visual suggestions for the video. Can you please suggest visual suggestions for every scene? Create as many scenes as possible. Now hit the send button. And here it is. The scene descriptions are ready. This is amazing. Okay, our scene description is ready. Now I will select the GPT-4 model to generate the prompts. Next, I will select the prompt engineer persona. Once the persona is selected, I am typing. Can you please generate detailed image generation prompts for all the scenes so that I can generate images using an AI image generator? Make the visual style consistent. And then hit the send button. And here it is, all the prompts are ready. These are really highly detailed prompts. Now let's create the images with an AI image generator. Come to the model section. Here you will find the image and video models. You can notice all the popular image and video generation models. You can select anyone. To create the image, I will select the flux model. Okay, the image generation interface has appeared. Here, we have to enter the prompt. I am copying the first scene prompt. After that, set the aspect ratio and the flux version. Once done, hit the generate button and then wait for some time. And here it is. The image is ready. This is really amazing. You can download the image or customize it inside Magi. You will find several image editing features. So, you don't need any editor. Another way of editing the image is using the Google Nano Banana model. To use Google Nano Banana, select the Gemini 2.5 flash image model. Now, come to the advanced option and upload the image. I will select the previously generated image from the library. Once the image is selected, enter the prompt. Basically, what you want in your image. Once the prompt is ready, hit the generate button and then wait for some time. And here it is. The newly generated image is ready. This is really amazing. So, now you can generate images and customize them inside Magi. Alright, now let's turn this image into a video clip. To do that, select a video generator model from the model section. You will find all the popular video generator models. For this time, I am selecting C-Dance. You can select between VO, Kling, Minimax, Luma, or others. Once the model is selected, upload the image or select from the library. Once done, enter the prompt. Next, set the size, format, and generation model. Once everything is set, hit the generate button. After waiting for some time, we got this video. This is really an amazing video. In this method, you can create images and then turn them into video clips inside Magi. You can even generate videos from text prompts. You can generate the description, title, and even thumbnail for your video. This is not the end. Using the power of 50 plus AI tools, you can create any kind of content, apps, and more on Magi. And all of these are only for $20 per month. So, why are you spending so much money? Join Magi today. The link will be in the description. All right, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear your opinion about Magi. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!